I was pushed to leave, so I chose the, the decision to, to come here. Of course, last year I was not having a really good relationship with the coach, which everyone knows. Big decisions aren't always easy. How does Luca Vildoza make the significant uh, decisions of his life and career? Oh, deep question. Uh, to be honest, I got the support of my family. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, my family is, it was, has been always behind me every, in every step in my career. That's mainly the, the thing. Uh, every, every decision I made in my career was supported by them. And now my girlfriend is involved now, so I'm really happy to, to have them in my life. Is moving from Panathinaikos to Olympiakos one of those life-changing decisions? It can be. It can be. For me, it was not really, really hard because I know that in my time in Panathinaikos, I, I gave my my everything there. I tried my best. Uh, it was not successful uh, personally. As a team, we, we achieved something really, really important as winning the EuroLeague. By coming to another great team as Olympiakos, for me, is a uh, I feel honored uh, to belong to this family. My family is happy and I cannot ask more. I play for the two greatest teams in, in Europe. Was there any advice to choose the Reds? Advice? No. I, I wore red two years ago in Red Star. I know how connected they are and I feel like i already been here and knowing that I play for Red Star, but that they're kind of brothers and I feel really, really comfortable here. I feel like people receive me with open arms and I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really feeling myself again. Is it strange or special to play for both these clubs knowing first hand their rivalry? I think it's special. Uh, not all the players can say that they play for Pau and for Oli. So I'm really happy to belong to the small kind of players that they, they did that. And nothing. I just I came here, but it's not about talking and everything. It's just about playing, and I wish I can play. I can play really, really good here. Uh, I'm not trying to compare, but last summer, Lucas took the opposite direction. Did you have the chance as teammates last year to discuss about his moving from one club to another? Uh, yeah, we talk now. We talk about that, that, and I think it's been a lot of things in between uh, in his move to, to Panathinaikos, but I'm not going to get into into that because it's not my my problem. Uh, but I think for a Greek player it's different if a foreigner like, as me uh, move from Pau to Oli. Uh, and to be honest, I feel like I, I, left, I was the one left uh, leaving Pau. Uh, I was pushed to leave, so I chose the, the decision to, to come here, knowing that Olympiacos is fighting for a uh, EuroLeague title every every year. Does Olympiacos feel like something like right place, right time for you? I feel good here, to be honest. Uh, the coach uh, welcomed me with the open arms. Uh, he was really warm about the the way he's talking to me, the way he's treating me, and then the guys, the, everything around around here, I feel it's amazing. Uh, but of course, it's just the beginning. When you start, when you start playing, it maybe it gets, it gets uh, hard sometimes. I feel like if we stay the way we are right now, we can achieve good things. Was there something that made your choice easier to sign with Olympiacos? Something special or significant? Special? Or? Uh, yes, and I said it before. Uh, playing for a Euroleague champion again. Uh, I think one, once you taste that feeling of, of winning something. Uh, in this case, the EuroLeague champion, uh, you don't want to go back. Uh, and I feel Oli was the perfect fit uh, for me to, to come back to that position. And I wish uh, we can make it this year. Uh, you won almost everything with Panathinaikos. What was the obstacles you feel you had to overcome last season, personally? I think the way we were playing, it was not my, my style. Uh, but still, it's not an excuse to play the way I did. I think I, did, I gave my best. That's for sure. I cannot complain about that. Uh, but of course, I, I know I didn't play well. I was hurt. Uh, I, I couldn't recover myself from after surgery, uh, 100%. Uh, but I consider myself a, at least a good guy. I never say something in the locker room. Uh, every time I, I put a step in the in the court, I 
I gave, I gave my 100% as I did in the Final Four, knowing that I didn't play in the semi-final, play the final with with passion as I always make, uh, trying to defend the jersey I'm wearing, and that's it. That's How it. do you imagine your first visit to Aka? To be honest, I thought about that many times, uh, but I think people know uh, how the things went, and I wish they know that uh, in that team it was not a perfect fit for me, either with the coach or the way we, the philosophy of the coach. So it doesn't matter the way they, they, they receive me. I know I gave my best. Uh, they treat me with a lot of respect last year, so I appreciate that and I wish they can, they can keep doing it. Is the general team environment uh, so important for a player to avoid easy critics and devaluation? Yes, yes, of course. The environment is always uh, a topic there. Uh, but if you are 100% that you gave your best, after that, uh, it's not up to you. It's something that you cannot control. From Dusko Ivanovic, to coach Ataman and now you're playing for coach Barjokas. Can you please share what unites and what separates them? I think there are three different kind of coaches. Uh, Dusko was, well, we know he was a little bit more structured about the, the way I was playing with him. Uh, with coach Ataman was different because he was more, a lot of pick and roll, a lot of uh, reading and individual skills. And now I need to adjust my game to to court of Barcelona. I think it's uh, it's fitting me really, really good because it's about a lot of passes, a lot of we're gonna have a lot of open shots. Uh, but still, if in this philosophy of he has, he has, if you don't play defense, it's gonna be hard to be in the court. And what about their mental approach to the player? They were different. We do go. At the end, in Red Star, I had a really good relationship that I can connect it with Coach Orsokas here. I think he's really close to the players. And of course, last year I was not having a really good relationship with the coach, which everyone knows. Uh, but still, it's the way he coaches, the way he, he wins. So you cannot say anything when someone wins everything. What do you bring to the table for Olympiacos? In the court? I can bring uh, a lot of energy. Uh, you know, uh, if I'm 100% healthy and I can bring a lot of energy, a lot of transition, fast breaks. Uh, but at the same time, I can play a lot for the team. I love passing the ball, I love moving the ball. It's, at the end, it's whatever the coach asks, I'm going to try to do 100%. Do you think that it's just an easy prediction, an early one, or this year's Olympiacos is more of a scoring team? It can be in a scoring team. But if we don't play defense, it's going to be really hard to, to play as easy as we want to play in, in, in offense. So everything is going to start in, the, in our defense. Uh, now knowing that we have two centers, big centers that are out, it's really hard to play defense the way coach wants. Because we always need a big presence uh, in, the, in the paint. But we are the new players are trying to adjust to, to that, and then in offense, I really, I really feel comfortable. So whoever has the day, uh, it's gonna be the, the main guy. Fournier, Vezenkov, Dorsey, Peters. In a few months, Kinan Evans, and yourself. Who's gonna take the last shot? Well, depends on the day. Uh, you never know. It will be like it will be good to have us in the court at the same time. Uh, and the other team not knowing who's going to shoot, but I, I had 100% trust in, the, in, my, in my teammates, so I can give it to them easily. <laughs>